Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to disassemble the LG G5 for screen repair, other repairs, and also reassemble it. Let's go do this, baby. Hi right, guys, the first thing you will want to do is obviously take out all your SIM card and SD card. Alright, so let me go ahead and take them out for you here. All right, take it out and also take out any modules or your battery pack. Take it out. That's pretty much it. There's two screws on top. We're going to go ahead and take these two screws out. LG made it really simple with LG G5. I mean, LG G4 was really easy, but instead of now having six or eight screws, LG G5 has just two screws uh, to pretty much disassemble the whole phone. I actually really like this design that they actually really cared about uh, making it, you know, modular. I mean, this is modular. If you ever break anything, the screen, the speakers, the front camera, the back camera, water damage, um, you can literally replace every single part on this phone. So which makes it a very nice phone to uh, repair. All right, first thing you want to do is sort of make a gap here on the right side and get like a plastic tool or maybe like a guitar pick and sort of work it in there. Um, work this first gap in there. There you go, like that, all right? Just so, sort of hold it with the hand there and we're gonna just kind of work it down until it pops out. See how that the rest of the screen popped out? And we're gonna keep doing the same thing. Make sure you use something plastic, otherwise you will scratch it and you won't be able to make it the way it was before. All right, once that comes out, use another pick here. Sort of, ow. Ooh, that scratched me. Uh, another pick here and sort of work it across. There we go. And that, the top part came out. All right, the rest of it should just pop out, just sort of wiggle it. And boom shakalaka, right? That was really simple. And we'll go ahead and take a quick look here. All right, some people are saying this is not real metal unibody. Uh, it actually is a uh, full unibody. This is all metal. This is all metal. It is very, very rigid, actually. Actually, I think it's actually more rigid than the Galaxy series. I think this will definitely hold up to uh, bend tests, you know. Also, taking a quick look at the display side, there's also metal frame that holds uh, most of this down. We'll take a look uh, after we take the motherboard out. Also, if you ever break the headphone jack, you can go ahead and replace this module here. All right, if you ever want to replace the vibrator, you can go ahead and replace that. That's pretty much it for the outer casing here with the fingerprint sensor. But it is super sturdy. You know, a lot of people complain, yes, there is paint on top of it, but it is definitely all metal unibody. If your USB input ever breaks, which is probably one of the frequent parts to break, um, you don't even have to disassemble it. Just buy a new one of these, shouldn't cost you too much, uh, just replace and you have a working USB. So simple. I really like that as a person who disassembles and assembles phones all the time. All right, um, the rest of it is super easy. You just need to remove one, two, three, four, five, six. Before you move these screws, um, go ahead and undo the LCD connector. This is the LCD connector. And also undo the connector to the main camera. All right, that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and unscrew these. So while Samsung is really focusing on design, uh, their glass back makes it very hard to repair, especially with the Galaxy S7. That is one of the reasons why I didn't disassemble it. I only really disassemble phones that I can, you know, reassemble it and make it function 100%. But that one you really can't. You will lose the waterproofing uh, once you disassemble it. And I don't really want to, you know, turn my new phone into an old phone. So that's why I didn't do it. But if my phone ever breaks, I will probably do a disassembly video. All right, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and wiggle the whole motherboard out. Wow, look at this. Look at this. LG pretty much has put everything in one board. I mean, from an engineering standpoint, uh, design in that sense is actually pretty awesome that they ever were able to put pretty much everything here. I mean, compared to like Galaxy phones, you got like different parts everywhere. If you ever break the USB uh, with the newer Galaxies, you have to actually replace like the whole motherboard. They don't expect people to break it, but 
LG G5 is definitely right on. This is the wide angle camera. If you ever break it, this just pops off. Get the new wide angle camera, put it in. If you ever break the main back camera, you can pop this out, put the new one in. If you ever break the front camera, you can go ahead and pop this out and put it in. And that's pretty much it, guys. And also, if you ever need to replace the screen, you can go ahead and grab this LCD. Don't grab just the LCD, grab the one with uh, the frame assembly. All right, talking about that, the LCD also has metal frame. It's got this big bar here, uh, which also has reinforced, uh, this is all real metal. So if you ever do a bend test, there's this strong reinforced metal that's gonna help you not break the screen. So taking it apart, I'm actually really impressed at the design, how tough and durable uh, this design may be right and also when you get a new screen with the frame um, you may have to replace this part so just go ahead and pop it off and put in the new one same thing with the camera um, this should come with the new screen because this is the LCD connector that's pretty much it folks let me give you a quick bird's eye view again that's it that's pretty amazing Having an easy to assemble phone also means that LG is able to cut the cost down and hence the LG G5 is a lot more affordable than the Galaxy series. All right, let's go ahead and put these bad boys back. All I'm gonna do is take the screen, um, just go backwards. I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. Just sort of make sure the cable doesn't get lodged in there. Um, just sort of wiggle it in there, all right, with the front camera in the right place. Go ahead and replug the main camera and also the LCD connector here. All right, make sure you hit that little clip, right? That should be solid. We're gonna go ahead and put all the screws back in, starting with the one on the right side here. So very interesting indeed. Um, it is actually a very, very durable phone. Now I opened it. Um, rather than listening to the rumors, I mean, taking a look at inside, it is pretty much all metal unibody. Actually, in fact, this is one of the uh, most durable phones, you know, as far as the frame goes, as far as how it feels uh, that I've tried. I mean, this thing is a solid piece of metal. I mean, I cannot bend it. Um, if you ever do bend test, this is probably going to live up to many pounds. Now, there is a module. If you When you do a bend test, you should do a bend test just using the main frame. I mean, obviously if you use this, this little flap's gonna break off. But if you actually just do bend test with this, I, I feel like this is the strongest frame I've actually tried. So very, very interesting. Um, yeah, go ahead and make sure you put the, all the screws back. It's the smaller screws. The bigger screws are for the bottom. I've got one, two, one more here, three. All right, uh, four. I mean, this is the easiest disassembly and assembly I've ever done, I think, with a smartphone. Um, so kudos to LG for making such a very durable phone, all right? And very easy to fix and disassemble. And I've got the last one here. By far, this is the world's quickest disassembly and assembly on a phone. All right, when you put it back in, start with the left side like this. All right, lay it down. All right, and just sort of hold down the side here so it won't go up. And sort of just sort of push slowly until it pops in there. You hear that pop sound up on the top, pop sound, and that's it, guys. And you got two screws here. Knowing that this phone is so easy to fix, it, it makes me more comfortable just, you know, banging it everywhere. But I would still use a case, you know. Still costs money to replace screens. All right, uh, once that's done, go ahead and put your SIM card back in and put your battery back in or whatever module you're using. Snap it in there, power on. All right, and we'll go ahead and test it out real quick. Look at that. All right, flawless repair of the Galaxy, sorry, LG. G5. Things you got to test out for are basically the cameras, Wi-Fi, uh, make sure data is working. Well, data, you shouldn't have to check it because we didn't have to mess with any antennas. Like the Samsung phones, sometimes you mess with the antennas and you forget to put it back in. 
and you can be kind of screwed. All right, we're just gonna go and check the camera, the sound. Actually, the sound just worked when I was doing the knock code. Um, so the sound works fine. The camera is probably the most important. The display is working. Touch screen should be working. It is working. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Very simple to do. All right, it booted it up. Sound is working. Let's go ahead and check out the camera. The front camera is working. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the back camera. The back camera wide angle is working. The back camera regular mode is working. So we're pretty much good to go. I've got my Wi-Fi working. Also, I've got cellular connection should be working for GLT. That's pretty much it. Anyway, that's how you can disassemble your LG G5 for screen repair, other repairs. The simple guy should help you. You probably won't need it until probably in a few months when you break your phone or by next year when you're out of warranty, perhaps it will cost you a ton to fix the phone than fixing it yourself. Anyway, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if this tutorial has helped you. I hope you guys have a great day. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe. All right, perfect.